Okay, so I had to make this video because I did an Instagram story series the other day and I got so many questions about this. I put up what a full CEO day looks like for me. And when I did this, I was like, wow, I actually get like a psychotic amount of things done in a day. And I actually saved it as a highlight reel over on the business coaching page. So if you guys wanna go check it out over there, I'll just leave the Instagram handle here and you guys can go look at it. I put pretty much all my calls for the day, what tasks I got done, what I delegated out. And a bunch of people asked me, how are you able to focus to get that many things done in a day? And how are you not all over the place? And I had to really sit down and think about this and be like, okay, what do I do throughout my week? What are the things that help me with having more output, with having more flow? Because to be honest with you guys, it's not necessarily that I do a million things and I'm all over the place. For me, I actually feel really in flow so I can just get multiple things done even within an hour. You guys hear so much out there, right? Like you have to time block, you have to do X, Y, and Z in order to get things done. For me personally, I removed all the rules because the more that I found, I put boxes around myself of what I should do. I found that I would overthink it and I'd wonder, okay, why do I feel so out of flow? Why do I have so much pressure on myself to do things a certain way to the point where I was spending more time thinking about how I should be doing them than actually just executing. And I find that most people don't actually have an energy problem or they don't necessarily have a lack of knowledge problem is that they have a lack of flow. So what happens when you have a lack of flow is you're probably gonna have a lack of output too. And so what I wanna talk to you guys about today is how I've actually been able to remove a lot of the things in my life and in my day that take me out of flow. I wanna to talk to you guys specifically about something that I think is really important. And I've actually found a bunch of research on this and I just started thinking about the things that I do in my day and that I do in my life. And the more that I thought about what I was doing, I did some research into dopamine detox. Now bear with me because you guys know I'm all about not being the all or nothing mindset. It's not necessarily that I would tell myself that I do a dopamine detox, but the more that I thought about it, I was like, okay, I do do a lot of things in my day that actually extract me from being so focused on a dopamine spike, chasing dopamine. A lot of people will ride these really high highs and then these really low lows. It's really hard for them to find kind of like an equilibrium or a balance. And I think it's less about how you structure days, or at least for myself, it's way less about how I structure my days and how I structure my time. And it's a lot more on having an action plan, having clarity on how to execute that action plan in the business. So I have systems, structure, and strategy, but then you have this other side where it's a personal issue, right? Or a personal thing where it's not necessarily something that I need to structure inside the business. You can have all the structure and strategy in the world, but it doesn't mean you're gonna execute on it. What really needs to happen is you need to be in a flow state. I don't actually think it's about a lack of knowledge. I don't think it's about a lack of energy. What I think is happening is that people are chasing dopamine in their business. And what that looks like is maybe you have a week where you sign a bunch of clients and then you feel like you're on top of the world. But then you have a week where you sign no clients and then all of a sudden it feels like the end of the world. And if that sounds like you, keep listening because this is what's gonna help you guys. So I wanna give you guys some action items and some steps that I've been taking that you can kind of put a spin on and do your own thing so that you guys can work through this. Essentially what you wanna start doing throughout your day is rather than chasing dopamine spikes or just getting that quick high for yourself is you wanna try to remove those throughout your day because if you can actually figure out what you need to balance out and find an equilibrium and just be really present, you're gonna be able to get in that flow state a lot more. And so I wanna to talk to you guys about just some of the things for me that personally helped. I noticed like about a year ago, I was put under a lot of pressure to start executing. And for myself, I was like, okay, what do I need to do to keep me in a state and a headspace where I can just execute? And for me, what that meant is I actually had to give up and sacrifice some things in my life that I noticed were things I would do when I was demotivated. So the first thing I want you to do is just maybe write down a list of some things that you notice when you're demotivated. For me, what that usually looks like is I start scrolling on TikTok, I start scrolling on social media and I'm spending a bunch of time on social media and just aimlessly, just trying to chase whatever void I'm filling at that time. And so that's one really big trigger for me. And so something that you can do, what I recommend is even for just the next seven days, if you can implement this, is put your screen time down by even just 20%. If you just put it down by 20%, you'll have more focus on the things that you actually wanna be doing and that you need to be doing. You're not creating distractions. The second thing is diet. I know, I know, I'm a health and fitness coach. I can talk about diet and nutrition all day, but really, like, are you just eating things to try and fill a void here and there? Or are you optimally energizing yourself? Another thing with this too is it's an integrity piece. You know that when you're fueling your body with good foods and you're not just eating like crap, that you're within integrity. When that happens, you feel more proud of yourself. You feel more excited. You feel like you're showing up as the business owner that you wanna be. And so in that case, you start to feel better, right? You can get more into flow state. And so even just over the next seven days, downtime on your screen, but also just focus on your diet. Like, 
like, what are some things that you can take out that you feel like you've just been chasing where you're like, oh, that's such a great rush. It's such a great hit. I'm all about the 80-20 rule, right? I'm all about getting the foods in that you love. Are you starting to rely on even food or that cup of coffee or whatever it might be from time to time just to give you that quick hit of energy or that quick dopamine spike to feel good? The next thing is just minimizing distractions. So even just think about what this looks like in your office or in your environment. I noticed that one of the big things for me is that whenever I'm demotivated or I feel like I'm getting out of flow state, the first thing that happens in my apartment or where I live is my space starts to get a little bit messy and I'll start to leave things around and then get this. This sounds so funny, but it's so true. I will procrastinate clean and I will quite literally chase dopamine and try to just check off my to-do list by instead of doing productive things for my company, actually try to just clean my house. And I know that that sounds like something that's still very productive, but for me, it's a void filler for my head. I wanna be checking off a to-do list and feeling productive, but it's not productive in a flow state. It's productive that's a distraction for me. I know that might sound crazy, it might sound funny, maybe your distractions look a little bit different. Just over the next seven days or so, monitor what that looks like for you. What are those things that you do that pull you out of that flow state? Or what are distractions that you typically create for yourself? Because those are likely the things that you're looking to just chase that quick fix for to feel good. The biggest thing when it comes to this is I don't want you to have to go and do a whole entire dopamine reset. I do want you to start feeling better about the choices you make. Because when you have integrity, when you make choices that align with the vision that you're trying to build, trying to get to, right? It feels good. And you get to be proud of yourself. You get to come out of a place of inspiration versus just being motivated because you aren't doing well, you aren't doing good. And when you're not doing good, what happens is you get motivated by that feeling of, gosh, I'm not doing what I should be, or oh, I'm a piece of crap. Let me work really hard for three days. Instead of just shuttling through that for three to five days, something we can do is just work on eliminating distractions and the things that give us that high high really quickly and start finding celebration and presence in the things that we can do just on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, it's not that you have to go all in on these seven days and remove all the things in your life that make you happy, okay? That's not what I'm saying in any way, shape or form. But what I am saying is just get more present in the moment. Eliminate things that are gonna distract you and start focusing on the things that actually get you into a flow state. Now you can look into more on full-on dopamine detoxes. I can tell you guys, honestly, I've never done a full dopamine detox, but what I will tell you is I noticed that a lot of the things that I have done to eliminate distractions in my day align with a lot of what that looks like. Dopamine detoxes typically are consecutive days where you go all in on eliminating a bunch of distractions or basically anything that gives you that kind of high high. I'm not really looking to do that. What I'm really looking to do is kind of live in a state of low so that I can execute more on my workloads. If you want better results, if you want to have more outcome and make more money in your business, sign more clients, what I recommend doing is take a look at your environment. Take a look at what you're doing on a daily basis, maybe your screen time. And even if you just start with one of the tips that I gave you in this video, start to eliminate distractions so that you can work more on building your vision and doing what you love.